Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to create scrolling horizontal text. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to hit spacebar here, and this is a very handsome dog. You'll see here that the text is scrolling in from the right to the left, and this dog likes to smell flowers. Now, that can be done very, very easily inside Premiere Pro. Let me show you from the beginning. The first step here is you'll notice here that I've just got some footage loaded in. The second step is I'm going to assume you're working in the editing space. The second step here is you want to go to your toolbar, go to the type tool, left click on it, and then let's start typing in some stuff. Now, I've got some content right here. This is a handsome dog, something, 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 something. He likes to smell flowers. I've got that. I command C or copied it, and then I'm going to command V and paste it in. Now, this is obviously not exactly where I want it, but we are on our way. I'm going to now click back to the selection tool, and I'm going to move it down a little bit, somewhere where I like it, right about here. Okay, now, for the text, you'll notice here that it put it in, and it looks like it's a second long. I generally recommend that you slide this out so the text is as long as your footage, if you're following along with me. Now, the footage, the text is not moving, not to worry. The next step is we're going to switch from the editing to the graphics uh, workspace. When you do that, you're going to most likely see essential graphics. If you don't see essential graphics, go to window and make sure there's a check mark beside it. Essential graphics right there. Now you're going to see a few things here. On the right side, we're going to have the text that you wrote in. This is it. This is a very handsome dog. You're going to see here a few options. The first one I like to do is I'm, I've changed the font from the Minion Pro or Myriad or whatever the heck it starts with to Monaco, and I've changed the color to a white color with no stroke, etc., etc. No big deal. All right, good. The next step is I'm going to go ahead and just decrease the size of a few of these things because I want to be able to see more of the puppy dog. There we go. Something like that. Okay, good. Now, the next step here is you'll notice that it is set to fit. I am going to go to 25%. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want the foot, I want to be able to manipulate this so that the footage, or the, pardon me, the text starts out on the right side and it scrolls through to the left. Okay, good. Place the t playhead at the beginning. Head over to your effect controls panel. You'll see text left click on the text and that is where the text is so this is a very handsome dog is what i've got there now scroll down a little bit and you're going to see a transform and then you're going to see the position stopwatch this is the one we want to work with or the toggle animation left click on that okay good now click on the text like i just did i'm going to hold down the shift key and i'm going to move it off uh, let's just go and pull this off and it is outside here. So we are starting at outside of the bounds of the video. And you'll see here we've created our first, our first, you know, graphic piece there, or motion graphic. So it's starting out on the far right here. We've got our first keyframe, not motion graphic, keyframe. Come on, Curtis. And then I'm going to go to the end of the clip. And I'm going to push back one frame. And I am going to move this now all the way across. Now, if you hold down the shift key, it goes across without going up or down. It goes across just perfectly. So I'm just going to push it off to the left side, holding down the shift key again, and it goes outside to the left. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to move to the beginning. I'm going to hit the play. I'm just going to click out of that. I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to zoom it in to 100%. And let's see what happens. There it is, guys. That is how you create horizontal scrolling text. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.